Good morning. I haven't done a live from this Burton Nutrition Facebook page for a while. So I just want to see if I can tell if people are getting on, if people are, can respond or see if I can see the questions. Um, there we go. Maria's watching. We got some people coming on. Great. Cool. I'll just let this uh, let this keep going here for a second while I get some water. All right. Good Monday morning, everybody. <clears throat> Good Monday morning. Diane, <clears throat> Tony, what's going on here? That's actually your question to me. What's going on here, Steve? Linda, what's going on from Colorado? Crystal, good morning. Great, we got some people on there. Mike, what's up, Mike? Tammy, awesome. <clears throat> Paula, what's up? Good morning. Morning, morning. All right, so uh, people are probably wondering why I'm doing a, a Facebook Live on Monday morning on really a page that I haven't done a Facebook Live for. I'm going to start doing my Facebook Lives from this page. But, you know, this morning I'm driving in. I was getting super fired up just about why we started Burt Nutrition um, and thinking about this 90-day challenge. We're about to start February 1st. Last year, people got amazing results. We've posted it over and over. Raven was our winner. She lost a lot of weight. The transformations have been great. But here's why we started this company. We started this company because we truly care about people's health. Okay? That's number one, is your health. That's why we're doing this. We're trying to help people get healthy. Without your health, we have nothing. And that's all, that's all we care about because if you're getting healthy, you're going to feel better by default. You're going to look better by default. You add a little exercise in there and your life is going to be better by default. And so many people neglect their health daily. And all we want to do is help people make the right choices, maybe drink a little more water, get active, get out there and, and do something for yourself because your health matters. And that's, and that's what we live by is your health matters. Now, the next question is, regardless of this 90 day challenge or not, challenges are great because if you can do 90 days, usually it's something that becomes a habit like Raven's been doing it for a year. A lot of people in my private Burt Nutrition group have been doing it for over a year now. It's become a habit to them. The choices have become a habit. No one's perfect ever, all the time. It's not happening, uh, except for my wife. Um, no, no one's perfect forever. but. If we do a 90 day challenge, people will start to make better choices, maybe exercise more, maybe drink it a little more water, maybe um, you know, watching their calories, all these things that, that go into feeling better about yourself and getting healthy, okay? So the next question always is, why aren't you focusing on your health? Forget me, forget Burton Nutrition, forget the 90 day challenge. Why aren't you focusing on your health. What's stopping you from focusing on you and your health? That's really the question. And that always comes down to usually why. Listen, wives, moms, even husbands out there, but mainly moms because that's mostly the audience that, that Burton Nutrition has. Moms get busy. Um, moms always put themselves last. I see this with my wife, okay? So I know that you guys put everybody else before you in your family. That's how it goes. Cooking, cleaning, working, dropping kids off, worrying about the kids all the time, right? So I, I know it's difficult, especially for moms, to put themselves first. So the question always is, why? What is your why? You're doing and sacrificing everything for your family and for your kids and for your spouse. You need to take care of yourself for, from a health standpoint, mentally and physically. We know they go together. You start eating well, you start having more energy, you start taking that time out for you during the day and working out, you're gonna feel better about yourself and you're gonna be able to be do more for your family. Okay, so that's really, really what we need to figure out for a lot of people is why. Why are you putting yourself on the back burner? Don't put yourself on the back burner. 
take time for yourself. Even if it's 20 minutes a day, it's not a lot of time to take for, for, for yourself and for your health because it matters. I'm telling you right now, I'm not the morbid guy. You guys know that I'm a fairly positive person in life and I want to inspire people and help people get healthy. But if you don't have your health, you have nothing at all. And instead of getting on that next medication or taking this for this ailment or this, focus on your nutrition, focus on working out, focus on you because that's really what matters and that's all that matters when it comes down to it, right? That's what matters in life, your relationships and your health. Without those things, you really have nothing and we know this. So I don't know what I can say to you for you to focus on your health, but listen, this 90 day challenge, we're getting ready to start here February 1st, okay? And if we need to postpone a week or delay a week, we can do that. That's not a problem. We always kind of fly by the seat of our pants anyway. So the 90 day challenge is all mapped out. It's easy. It's a PDF. You can read it. You get on this page. You can ask questions. I'm going to be doing lives from this page during this challenge. That's the bottom line. Okay, me and John, if you don't know John Gustin, he's a fantastic trainer, certified in nutrition. The whole family is just fitness and nutrition and wanting to get you healthy. That's our primary reason is wanting to get you healthy. Okay, so what are you waiting for, essentially? Again, whether you do the 90-day challenge or not, you need to take care of you. You need to focus on you for the people who sacrifice daily. You selfish people, I ain't talking to you. I'm talking, I'm talking to the people who put themselves last, okay? Who are servants, put themselves last. You gotta take care of yourself. I know it's tough. I know it's, 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 it's almost a bad habit that's normal, right? You've been doing it for so long and it may not be the best for you, but that's your new normal, right? And that's what we try to do with habits. We need to make this the new normal for you because anytime there's change, it's difficult, but change pr produces results that usually are good, okay? People f resist change, they're, they're fearful of change. Change is difficult, it's hard. They fall back into what's their comfort zone, which is usually not the greatest of habits. So that is, uh, that's kind of what I wanted to just, I, I was so fired up this morning driving in. I worked out um, and I was just like, man, I want to talk. I got to talk about this. So, you know, that's, that's a big deal. We've had, we've had so many people get such great results and just be healthier. That's it. That's all we're looking for. You know, looking great is awesome. Feeling great is even better. And feeling great about yourself is the best. And that's why we do it. When people come up to me and I get on, you know, I go on the road a lot. People are like, man, I've lost 35 pounds and I feel great. I can do more stuff with my kids and my grandkids. That means everything to me. I mean, losing 10 pounds is an accomplishment. And I just want to say this now. This is not a diet. Not a diet. It's a lifestyle. Diets do not work. Anything you have to go on and come off of, it's going to fail. It could work short term, but it's not long. It's not a lo uh, there's no longevity in diets. It's a lifestyle. So, my message is to uh, my message to you is to take care of yourself, whether that's with Burt Nutrition or without. Take care of yourself. Get healthy. Lose weight. No, no one needs to be carrying all that extra weight around. Not good for your body. Not good for your heart. Not good for anything that you're doing. Okay, take care of yourself. Get healthy. Now I guess I'll take a few questions because a ton of questions are coming in here. Holy moly. Autumn, I feel your pain. My wife had three kids. If you haven't followed her on Instagram, at one Shree Burton. She's a rock star. Um, she's my inspiration, honestly. I, I just don't know how she continues to do it. She's amazing. So go to at one Shree Burton and check her out for all the moms who had kids. She's got some great, great advice. <laughs> Hey Carol, <clears throat> hey Missy, thanks for thanks Steve for the pep talk. Thank you. I, I just want to inspire people to do something. Look, these talks are great, but if nobody does anything, it doesn't matter. I want someone to do something and change their life. That's what I'm doing here. Please get healthy. That's number one. That's right. Cool, cool, cool. 
Good morning. Diets don't work. Correct. I can't see more. I, it says click see more, but every time I do that, it messes me up. Can you drag me to the gym, please? Listen, you can do it. Let me tell you, let me just quickly tell you why. Because if you form these habits, there's no way anyone loves to get up to go. I don't love to get up to go to work pretty much four or five days a week at 4.30 a.m., get here, work out for an hour, and then start my day. There's days I do not want to freaking get up. I do not want to get here and, and work out. No, I don't. But the habit of it and the forcing yourself, in, forcing yourself to do it will get you through those days where you don't feel like you can do anything. And then there's going to be days where you wake up and you feel, man, I feel great. I worked out yesterday and I didn't want to. That builds self-confidence. That builds momentum. And that's what we need. We need something every, every single day, just a little bit every single day. That's what we call the compounding effect, right? Like your money in the bank. Every, for 20 years, it just compounds. The interest compounds. That's what you do. If you do something every single day, it will compound, right? Someone works out nine hours for nine hours a day once, it doesn't matter. But if you work out for 20 minutes a day for nine months, guess what? That matters. That makes a difference. Not just physically, but mentally. Hey, I did it. I can keep doing this. If you get through things, you can do it. That's how you build your self-esteem and self-confidence. That's what we need to do. So, anyway. Caroline, I'm type 2 diabetic. The protein has been key in learning to balance, change my numbers. Right? That's, that's what most of our work is here, basically, is education. Trying to educate people on the right choices and then getting them to look at things, look at labels. How many calories do you take a day? I ask this question 50 times a day to people. No one has an answer, answer for me. If you master your calories, you're going to master yourself. Okay? Master your calories. Know what you're saying. Know what you're doing. It's going to be, then, then you're going to figure it out with your, with, with your weight loss is calories. That's number one. <laughs> Do this every day. There you go. Awesome. Hello from frozen Ohio. Hello from sunny California at the beach. I know people hate when I, when I post pictures at the beach, but I love it right now. I can't, I, it's amazing. So, Hey Lisa, if you only have 20 minutes, we have a ton of body weight workouts, body weight challenges at BurtNutrition.com. Go check it out. Go check out BurtNutrition.com. There's workouts, there's boot camps, there's videos, everything. Hey, uh, Jen, I just answered that question. If you go to BurtNutrition.com and scroll down to the bottom, there's going to be body weight challenges. Start with that and adjust it to your, to your uh, skill level. If you're a beginner, begin. If you're less than a beginner, then do half of what a beginner says. Move up to intermediate. It's a great body weight challenge. Great, Holly. <clears throat> Amy, great, great question. This is number one. What do you, you what do you do to lose belly fat? There's not one specific thing for belly fat. That's your whole diet and your lifestyle. You lose body fat first. There's places where you lose it first. Your arms. For for most of us, it's the belly region. It's the the hips for ladies. It's it, for guys. It's always right here in love handles. That's always just about losing body fat. That's not one pill, one shake, one exercise. It's about losing body fat all over your body. That's always the last to go. Mindy, great, quite great statement. I don't seem to ever get enough protein. Most people don't. That's why we started with the protein. Okay. My wife and I have always used protein shakes from when we met each other 20 years ago. Uh, she had them during during uh, ner uh, during pregnancies. We made a we made a clean grass fed protein shake that's awesome. And most people don't get enough protein, and it's so important for your body and for toning and for weight loss question we get all the time is what can I do for toning or weight loss really it's the same thing watching your calories working out getting enough protein go Patriots all right I'll tell Brad for that one thank you Gina I have a broken ankle what can I do for workouts mm, you're gonna be inhibited a little bit there until that ankle heals but, but again, nutrition's the more important factor at this point. Working out's great. Working out's great for the body, the mind, everything. Nutrition, you can actually lose weight without working out if your nutrition is on point. That's the key. Do you have ready-make shakes? No, we do not. You have to make them. Go to BurtNutrition.com and just peruse the website. We've got some great uh, recipes. Make my shake a meal recipes. They're awesome. Go check it out.
Do you have an app? Nicole, we do not have an app. We have a Facebook page and our website that has uh, workout videos and body weight challenges and shake recipes. Hey, Carrie Ann, how many grams of protein should we have per day? It's a good question. Usually the, the, the general consensus, because there's obviously there's conflicting people say, oh, you need half a gram per body pound or you need two grams depending on your, if you're working out a lot and you're bodybuilding. So if, really if you're in that, you know, half a gram to a gram a day per, per uh, pound, you know, if you're 130 pounds, try to get 130 grams of protein. If you fall a little short, you're going to be good to go. Usually a gram, I, I strive for a gram uh, uh, per pound. I'm excited to start your 90 day fitness challenge next month. Yes. Hey Raven, what's going on, Beth? Beth, is it? I, I felt I didn't feel good after the taking the cleanse. Is it normal? Okay, Beth. Here's a here's the thing. 15 day cleanse. Start with one pill. Make sure you take it at night. Cut out your processed foods. Drink a lot of water. It's a cleanse, so it's gonna cleanse you. It's going to do its work in there, okay? And if one pill's, if you feel okay with one pill, just stay on one pill for 30 days, and it's not a big deal. It's all natural. It's a great cleanse. How many grams of protein needed to build muscle? Well, Linda, if you just get one per body, uh, body weight, you're going to be on the right track. What should the goal be for people who just start working out, strengthening your core? Uh, sure, strengthening your core should be a part of it. It's about everything. It's about full body. Check out the body weight challenges because they're awesome. Because you're doing, one day you're doing legs with some upper body, you're doing core, you're stretching. It's great. There you go. Try to start the day on a positive note. I'm trying to, that's right. Can you take while pregnant? Shaney, yes, you can. It's grass-fed. It's all natural. It's hormone-free. But check with your doctor also because although I work on General Hospital, I am not a doctor. I send people to the doctor actually on this show. And I'm trying to keep people from the doctor in real life. Awesome. Such great info. Awesome. So listen, if you have questions, message us here, okay? I answer questions a lot all day. We have people who answer questions uh, whether you're using the product or not, 90-day um, challenge, can I lose 50 pounds? Autumn, listen, you can lose weight. Listen, it's not really about the 50 pounds. If you're, if you're truly dialed in into your calories and your exercise and your nutrition, one and a half to two pounds a week is doable. Um, and you're going to, you're going to, if, if you're not losing weight now and you're just going to start, you're going to lose a lot of weight in the beginning. A lot of it's going to be water weight. I think Raven lost 42 pounds. Am I correct? Raven, 42 pounds, uh, during the challenge and, and more, um, throughout the year, almost, I think it's, she's over a hundred pounds now. Raven is for the year, which is freaking bananas because it's become a lifestyle for her and she's doing awesome. Ravens at work in the snow. Yes, you can. Totally. So, awesome. Hey, you guys, I'm at work. I got to run. But I just wanted to say, hey, take care of yourself. Take care of your health. If you want to join the 90-day challenge, do it. Because it's 90 days. It's with a group. We're going to be on this page together as a group. And, um, you know, go to burtonnutrition.com. If you click the top banner, that's that's where the challenge is, all the challenge rules. It's easy. Your before picture, your after picture, it's fine. You get a PDF. You get all the stuff that you need to get started. And then when we start, uh, I'll figure out the start date, and then we'll do a live, and we'll go through everything. Everyone can take their own measurements and figure out what how many calories they need and all that stuff. So um, just uh, I'm going to start posting on here. So. Have a great day um, and check out BurtonNutrition.com and take care of yourself. All right. Have a good one.